One sure sign that the Derby season is almost here is the naming of the Derby Festival Royal Court. Now you are going to be so blown away by this year's Royal Court. I know I say that every year, but this year especially, they are scholars, they are leaders in the community, and their resumes are loaded with achievements. The, the lucky five young ladies are here with us in the Great Day Live studio today, and we are so excited to introduce you to each one of them, get to know a little bit more about them. So first up, Come on up, Peyton. This is Peyton Brooks. She is a 21 year old senior at University of Louisville. She's a double major in poli sci and criminal justice, a McConnell scholar and their DEI chair, a Woodford R. Porter scholar and president of the Porter Scholars. Also volunteer with Hope Bus. We've had them on the show a lot. Peyton, so nice to meet you. You as well. You know, I, I understand that you applied previously to be a Derby princess and this is your second time applying, right? Yes, yeah. so the first time around when I applied last year, I was super excited about it, um, but I actually found out that I got picked for an honor seminar that was going to be taking a trip to Denmark. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> at the same time, yeah. right at the same time as the Derby. Can't do those and no, no, I couldn't do no. those at the same time. So I let them know. I was like, I'm so sorry, but I'm going to have to rescind my application. But I was really excited to apply again this yeah. year and get the opportunity. And to be here I now. know. It's so exciting. Well, I'm curious to know a little bit more about the Woodford R. Porter Scholar. Like, what does it mean to you to be the president of the Porter Scholars. Yes, so the Woodford R. Porter Scholarship Program was founded by um, a previous trustee, Woodford R. Porter, um, at the University of Louisville, and his kind of main motto was education is the great equalizer. So generally, historically, the scholarship program has been historically for black and African-American students, but all students are welcome to apply. Um, but for me, I think it creates such a community for underrepresented students at the University of Louisville, and I think getting to sort of lead that has been really amazing, getting to create like belonging and inclusion for students at the university so we get a lot of support with our academic academics but also just creating like a safe space on campus so I really enjoy it well Peyton it is so nice to meet you, you. as well wonderful lots of events we're gonna see each other <laughs> Peyton Brooks everybody Next up, we are going to introduce you to Sarah Downs. She is a second year medical student at the University of Louisville School of Med Medicine. She is a social chair of her class. Uh, she is a member of the Distinction in Business and Leadership track, public relations chair for Project Heal. She's an avid pianist and she owns her own Kentucky Proud Certified Bakery. Sarah, great to meet you. Yes, you as right? well. You know, so what do exciting. you think about being a part of Derby 150 in this way? Wow, what I mean, is happening? I am just so excited. Kentucky is my favorite place, really. <laughs> yeah. And the Derby, you know, it's just um, a celebration for everyone across the state. And to be part of the 150th oh Derby God. is gonna be so special. You're gonna have an amazing time. Okay, I'm blown away by everybody's resumes. And then when I saw your line about Kentucky Proud Certified Certified bakery, the owner of it. I was like, wait a minute, whoa, tell me more about this because we are super excited about Kentucky Proud. How did that all happen? Yeah, so uh, back during COVID, I kind of developed a love for baking. You know, I was a science major and undergrad, so I'm always loving to experiment with new things. Uh -huh. uh, and I actually ended up going down to my local far farmer's market at home in Springfield, Kentucky, farmer's market at the depot. Uh -huh. Gotta give them a little shout out. <laughs> And all of the producers, all the people that sold their goods, whether that be honey or their baked goods or even, you know, their crops, I just uh, really just built this relationship with them. And they taught me about Kentucky Proud and how special of a program it is because it highlights all the amazing things yeah. that people in our state do. And a lot of people don't realize that, but we've got some really awesome people here in Kentucky. Yeah, it's one thing, I think, to have your own business, but you're making mm -hmm. sure that it's focused only on Kentucky Proud products, right. which is really, really yes. great. Well, Sarah, so great to meet you. Yes, you too. It's gonna be a so big exciting. season. Right, and I'm sure I'll see you around. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sarah Downs, everybody. <laughs> Next up, I'm excited to introduce you to Ankita Nair. She is a third year medical student at the University of Louisville School of Medicine. She graduated summa cum laude from UCLA in three years in human biology and society. She founded her own preventative health initiative. It's called Let's Live Kentucky to Improve State Healthcare Outcomes, right? Yes. So great to meet you. So great to meet you too you and know, be here. You must be so excited about this entire process. I mean, you have such an impressive resume but are you're probably ready to really have a great time with this season well, I'm absolutely thrilled to be here because you know being a medical student I wanted to do this for a very very long time yeah. but I waited three years to apply to make sure that my academics and 
you know, everything in my life would align. And it just so happened to be a very historic year for the Derby as well with the 150. Say that, yeah. And, and it's a competitive process too, to, is, to yes. be named a Derby princess. It, people don't realize that. It's many people do it again and again, so you waited. I did, and I kind of realized it was gonna be a one and done thing. And so I really put in my best effort every step of the way, you know, hoped for the best, worked really hard, and when I got that result, I was just absolutely thrilled Here and honored. Here we go, buckle up. Well, tell us a little bit more about Let's Live Kentucky. Who does that uh, serve, and why was it important for you to so, zero in on that? I think that Let's Live Kentucky serves everyone in Kentucky, but I really aimed it you know, towards people who might not have health insurance or people who might not have regular access to a doctor because I think everyone deserves a right to live a healthy life. And really, you know, it's just addressing this information gap and some of the reasons why I think Kentucky has, you know, some of the worst um, health statistics in the country. I mean, we have the fourth lowest life expectancy. Cardiovascular disease is rampant in our state and we're in the top 10 for skin cancers higher than Florida and California. And so many of the diseases that affect, you know, Kentuckians have a preventable aspect to it. And so if yeah. we can improve knowledge and help people learn when they need to go to the doctor sooner and how to take care of themselves, I think we can do a lot to have our loved ones in our lives longer. And I just thought that that was something I really wanted to go out for and advocate for. Well, you're putting attention on an important cause. Yes. And Keita Nair, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Once again, everybody, and Keita Nair. Next up, we are going to introduce you to Emma Rhodes. She is uh, in her second year of her master's program at Bellarmine University. She's focusing on elementary education. She is a third grade teacher at St. Agnes. She's on the was on the Bellarmine uh, University dance team and taught English in Italy and Austria. A three time national ballroom champion. Get going. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. That had to be something. I'm very something. proud. Yes. Right. Are you going to break out a dance or two at one of these events? They have been asking me. The girls have already asked me. Do it. Do do Literally it. all yesterday, and yes. they were like, Emma, you have to teach us some ballroom dancing. And the Phillies ball <laughs> is happening on April 13th, so That's maybe I'll look up some moves there. That's your ladies. time. You'll be warmed up by then. Yes. You know, you're, you're majoring, your master's focus is elementary education. You're a yes. third grade teacher at St. Agnes. Yes. Why, is it, why was it important to you to focus on elementary education? So for me personally, even when I was a young child, uh, I was told from a very young age uh, from a mentor of mine, uh, a teacher, a former teacher of mine that inspired me to become a teacher was like, Emma, you're a teacher. You just are the way that you interact with kids that are younger than you, people that are younger with you. And for me, I always knew that I wanted to be a part of a child's development and being that outlet for them, someone who's different than a family member, but someone that they could have a close individual relationship that they can turn to and talk to and make sure that they feel value, uh, valued, celebrated, and worthy, and that they're special. And that's what I try to do with my students mm -hmm. every single day. Hi, third grade. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I'll be the there most later. important jobs out there. Yes. Emma Rhodes, thank you so much. Thank you so much for having Emma me. Emma Rhodes, everybody. Thank you. Last but not least here, we have Laurel Riggs. She is a senior at the University of Kentucky. She is looking at a dual degree in poli-sci writing, rhetoric, and digital studies. She's in the pre-law lane, and she's going to be attending Rosenberg College of Law in the fall. She's a Lunsford Scholar, a Lewis Honors College student, and the Director of Programs at Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership Kentucky. Who all that, <laughs> right? You must be so proud to come from Bardstown, Kentucky, right? Yes, Bardstown yeah. is literally the most beautiful small town in America, as we so affectionately claim. And coming from a small town has just really, I felt like, raised me in a mindset yeah. that is open and loving toward people. And so I'm just so grateful to be from Bardstown. Well, tell us more about this Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership and how it shaped you as a leader. Yes, Claudia, Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership, or Hobie, as we Hobie. so affectionately <laughs> call it, is a youth leadership nonprofit organization founded by humanitarian Hugh O'Brien. It works to instill leadership skills in young people. And um, it's a seminar locally for sophomores in high school. Oh, and wow. so when I was a sophomore in high school, I was chosen by my high school to attend this seminar. And it was really the first time in my life that I was told you can mm. lead, you can um, do anything you set your mind to. And the key thing was, that you can lead not just when you're older, but you can lead right now. And it really gave me the steps to go home and take action in my community. And so I have just been giving back for the last five years to this organization. Now I serve as the director of programs and I am so proud to be able to tell about 200 students each year that they can go back to their community. Well, you're gonna be leading in a big way as part of this Derby Festival Royal Court. So don't go anywhere. Uh, you just heard from Laurel Riggs. You heard from all of our Derby princesses this morning. We're gonna break down some of those burning questions that I know you're thinking 
thinking of out there, uh, some of the other questions, all the events they get to go to don't go far.